Hi there, it's Miracle. Since we are only a few days towards 2019, I'm here today to talk about my goals for the new year, particularly my reading goals, my goals for my booktube channel, with an attachment of my personal life goals. The first thing when we talk about reading goals is of course the Goodreads reading challenge. I have set my challenge to 50 books per year for about 2 years now. Before that, I didn't really use Goodreads as a platform to record my reading, but ever since I started doing that, I found 50 is a very good number for me. It is a very small number on booktube here, but I like it because it is an achievable goal for myself that I know I can accomplish. If I set the goal higher, I know at some point I will be stressful. And me being stressful because of reading will lead to not a very good results for myself. So I don't want to do that. So 50 books for 2019 again. And looking back this year, I think I read a well-balanced of female and male authors, and also I read a variety topics of non-fictions, which I'm pretty happy about. But I didn't read classics as many as I wanted to, and I didn't read poetry collections as many as I planned. So in 2019, I still want to read more classics and also more poetry collections. In addition to that, I want to read more books from China. Although I talked a lot about books from China this year, I didn't read enough. I only talk about books from my previous reading life and also from my research. Partly it is because I now live in the US, so it's very hard for me to get my hands on Chinese books. And partly it's because I am on booktube, so almost all the information I got is from the Western reading market, so I didn't have enough information for Chinese books. But there are so many Chinese books that I still want to read, and there are so many more books that are coming out every year. So this year, I really want to make an effort to read more Chinese books, and I do have a number for this goal that is 12 Chinese books in 2019. This is again seems like a very small number, but compared to the Chinese books that I read in 2018, which is three or four books if you counted a book written by Chinese author but written in English. Twelve is still a big number that we can expecting from. And for booktube channel, I have two big goals. The first goal is to be more consistent with video making, and the second goal is to be more active in the community, specifically in commenting. In 2018, I kind of went on and off on booktube. Sometimes I can be very productive and very consistent in for like a couple of months, but there were a couple of other months I didn't do well and I didn't make the video, although I have already planned them. This was because, firstly, I had a very jam-packed traveling schedule, and sometimes jet lag played a huge role in my traveling and took a lot of energy away from me. And secondly, I do recovering from depression, and I still have my ups and downs in life, and sometimes I got too stressed and too depressed to do anything in life, including reading and book booktubing. So you may notice when I set my reading goals, I kept saying that I don't want to pressure myself, because generally I want to have reading and booktubing as my relaxing hobby, and when I hit the down times, I don't really want to feel the obligation that I have to continue reading or making videos in order to achieve my goals. But as I mentioned, I do want to work on my consistency on booktube, so I have a few ideas to help me to improve that. The first one being stick to a daily or a weekly routine so that my personal life will get more organized. And the second one is try some de-stress methods whenever I feel stressful or in daily life so that I don't need to be panic every now and then, especially to the things that I have no control of. And the last one is the most important one, is that I want to stick to a more whole foods based on diet and also go exercise whenever I have time, because I think that will be good for my physical body, so it is good for my mental health and also I can be more peaceful in my daily life, so that I can be more productive when I plan to. So back to booktube goals. I will keep talking about Chinese books on my channel because that's part of my reading goals for 2019. However, I have some changes to my Chinese literature series. I will talk more about it in my next Chinese literature video. And in the next Chinese literature video, 
I repeated a lot of Chinese literature here. I will summarize all the Chinese books that I recommended here and there in 2018 and also give you a suggestion of where to start if you are interested in Chinese literature. Another project that I want to kick off in January will be called Monthly Reading Challenge. This is not a challenge you can get a list or a bingo that you work on whole year. This will be a challenge that combines your reading life and also the world outside of books. Needless to say that I'm pretty excited about this project and I will talk more details in the beginning of next year. So to sum up, my goals are 50 books for 2019, including at least 12 books from China, more poetry collections and also more classics. And my channel goal is to be more consistent. At least I need to be better than this year. <laughs> and also be a more active commenter. And also I have two video projects. One is to continue the Chinese literature series on my channel. The second one is the monthly reading challenge. And for my personal life, I want to be healthier. So that's pretty much for my goals for 2019. Please let me know your goals for 2019. They can be book related or not book related. And also, I hope you all have a wonderful year ahead of you. And happy reading. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.